Today I'm going to share with you a powerful technique on how you can reduce and manage low back pain and sciatica and what I'm talking about is using cryotherapy or cold therapy. This is Dr. Steve Silverston from World Class Chiropractic in Ellicott City and let's show you how to get this done at home. Okay so here we are and now I'm with my beautiful model Debbie to help us demonstrate how you can do cryotherapy at home. Say hello Debbie. Hey. Okay. And so what we like to use is these gel packs. Um, these go in the freezer and they get really cold like and it's like ice. You could use any form of ice. If you choose to you can take crushed ice, put it in a Ziploc bag, but we find these gel packs to be really uh, great to use because they're nice and soft. They mold to your body and you can use them over and over again. They'll last you a real long time and they live in the freezer so they're ready to go because part of what I'm gonna tell you about doing this cryotherapy is you wanna do it repetitively. You wanna do it on and off and on and off and on and off. And so when you're done using it, you throw it back in the freezer, it's ready to go in 20 minutes, it's cold again. So what we're gonna do also is address for a moment uh, your position when you're applying the ice. So. If you have low back pain or sciatica or any kind of back pain, it could be because your spine has some type of problem and there's pressure on the joints and the nerves. And when you're upright, you have weight bearing on those joints and it often is more stressful. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna get on your back and lie down so that we take the gravitational force off the spine and your spine can rest and relax while we're doing this. So at home, uh, you probably don't have a table like this, so you wanna lay down on the ground, you wanna be on a firm surface. I mean, you could do it in a bed, but we don't advise that because it's a little too soft. Uh, if you have a hardwood floor, I would put down a comforter or a yoga mat or something like that so that it's comfortable, but it's firm. And so uh, the first thing we wanna look at is position. So right now, Debbie's lying here with her legs straight. If you lie on your back with your legs straight, usually it's gonna put a little more strain on your low back. So one of the first things I like to do is to just elevate the knees. And by doing that, you'll notice that it takes more stress off of the spine and off the low back. So if you really wanna keep your legs down, what I would recommend is using a pillow so that it just elevates the knees a little bit and it helps tilt the pelvis again and it takes some of the stress off the low back. Ideally, um, what I would want to do is get the legs all the way up like this at a 90 degree angle and that takes the most pressure off the low back. So this would be my first choice. Next choice would be with my knees bent. If I had to put the legs down, I'd put them down on a pillow. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that ice pack and what we always do is we like to put a paper towel or a thin fabric so that we create a barrier between the ice and your body. And so we will cover the ice pack with a paper towel and then we'll slide this right under the low back there. And again, that's just gonna mold into the body. Feels pretty comfortable, right Deb? If she was a complaining of um, back pain a little bit up higher, I might put one in the upper back like this. Great. And I didn't put the paper towel because for demonstration purposes, these uh, ice packs right now aren't frozen. And so then for the neck as well, what we would do is, what we like to do is, is to support the spine. You can roll up a towel about the size of the forearm, and that will go underneath the neck so it, so it protects and supports the spine as well. I'll put an ice pack over that. And again, if this was freezing cold, the paper towel is really important. And I'll put this under the base of the neck so that the head can fall back and that supports the curve in the neck. How's that feel, Doug? Great. Great. And so again, ideally, we wanna get those legs up. So I have a, a milk carton, and a couple of bolsters, and I'll put that under her legs so that it almost lifts the legs a little bit and it just takes all the pressure off the low back. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply this ice for 10 to 20 minutes, and while you're icing is a good time just to relax and breathe and let your body settle down 
and uh, it's going to feel good. It's going to decrease muscle spasms, inflammation, swelling. Ice will numb you out without the use of drugs, and it's going to help therapeutically to help aid in healing of the tissues. And the way it does that is when you apply ice, it constricts the blood vessels and pushes the blood away from the area. As it pushes the blood away from the area, it also pushes the toxins away, the inflammatory toxins that are, are, are there when we are injured or sore or in pain. Um, when we come off the ice after 10 to 20 minutes, you want to give it at least like a half hour break, maybe move around if you can. And what happens then is the blood vessels expand, expand and the blood gets back into the area. And in doing that, you're, you're getting blood in and out and in and out if you go on and off with the ice. And what that's doing is really bringing nutrients to the tissues and getting rid of the toxins. So not only does it feel good, but it'll help aid in healing of those tissues. And so I think that's about it. Um, I hope that you find this technique useful. If you like this video, make sure to like it. Subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends.